This is Roll With It Unplugged, a casual take on telling improvised stories through role-playing games. Today's episode is the second of a three-game series of Everyone is John, a light role-playing game by Michael B. Sullivan. Adam Bracken, Chris Krueger, and Jim Weaver are joined by GM Brian McKittrick. Start with a bit for control for taking control of John. Yeah. All right, three has it. John, you're lying on your back. You appear to be on a field of some kind. Um, you're wearing shoulder pads, a helmet. Uh, there are concerned people dressed similar around you. Um, looking up into midday. Noonish sky with like looks like you're in a stadium of some kind. Alright. Um first thing I'm gonna do is get up on one knee, put my fingers to my ear. <laughs> this is John. <laughs> Colonel, do you read me? No response. It's broken. Your codex broken. <laughs> I look around. I thought this was supposed to be a solo infiltration mission. <laughs> John, are are you okay? You had a nasty spill there. You might have hit your head. Do you wanna wanna sit out practice for today, maybe? I, I'm fine. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. We're gonna try that again. Let's uh, let's get back into place, people. So they start lining up on the the field. Um, um, I have no idea who these people are. <laughs> no, you don't. So I'm looking around and trying like sort of get a uh, get get a handle on like who's friend and foe here. Uh, there are people on one side of the line, and there are people on the side of the line with you. John, you ready? You're gonna call it out. John, come on. What am I? What am I calling? The the. We're practice, whatever. So, All right, and the ball starts moving. And so, so while everyone's distracted, I'm going to very stealthily just sort of like crouch, walk away. <laughs> Roll to sneak. One. Oh no! <laughs> the coach looks furious. John, what are you doing? The game's tomorrow. This is our last chance to get any practice in. Come so on! I, I'm ignoring him. This is like the alert phase is on, so I get out of my crouch walk and I just start running. <laughs> and there's a bit for control as you run off the field. <laughs> Football is not happening. For him? John, uh, you are in the locker room of this stadium. Um, a very angry couch... Uh, coach-looking person was running behind you and then you slammed the door in his face. Hmm. What do you do? Uh, is there anyone in this? No. No? Okay. Um, then that I'm, doesn't mean there's not cameras. Though. Then I'm going to take the opportunity to learn about the others and uh, go through their locker. <laughs> uh, but I, I'll go ahead and put like um, something through the door so that it can't be opened. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a mop nearby. Okay, cool. Mop, handle through the door. Um, and then I'm going to start going through lockers. And see what I can find about these, uh, you know, the, the the others. Sports equipment, sports drinks, magazines. Magazines, eh? Yeah. I take very close uh, note of the titles of these magazines. Sports Illustrated, um, uh, Reader's Digest, mm-hmm. Home and Garden. Very strange magazines. Oh wow. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, noting this, then, I'm going to go find out who uh, owns the home and garden, because I think they'll make a good ally. <laughs> um, so what, what, what's the name on the locker there? That would be... Give me a name. Oh, um, it's Barry. Barry? Yeah. Okay. Barry is the one that reads home and garden. Excellent. I will leave a note for Barry. Doesn't that say? The note says, Barry, if you would like to enter into an alliance, contact me. And I give him my phone number. Okay. He pro- Okay, yeah. Uh, that mop handle is breaking, though. Uh-oh. Time to run. Uh, there is an emergency fire exit. Perfect. Is there like a... Um... And it will trip the alarm. Yes! Okay, that, I'm going out that way. All right. Alarm sounds. Uh, John is in... John is in a hallway that leads to a door with an exit sign over it. I'm going to make a break for the exit. Mm-hmm. And just crash through the door and, and continue on out. Okay. Um, you're in a parking lot. All right. Is there a cafe nearby? Uh, there's Starbucks across the street. Perfect. I'm going to go blend in. You're going to have to cross the street. That's fine. It's very busy. Uh, 
I have, I have no fear. No fear of cars? <laughs> Roll two fear cars. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to say you immediately get splattered across the sidewalk, <laughs> but you do, like, narrowly avoid getting hit, clipped by an 18 wheeler that honks as you go past. Yeah. And there's a bit for control. All right, reveal. Hey, John. You are standing on the sidewalk. There's a Starbucks across the street. Uh, there are what it sound like sirens coming closer. Mm -hmm. uh, you're wearing football equipment. What do you do? Are there any people on the street nearby? Uh, on this side of the street? There's a few people. There. I run up to the nearest person, and um, I, I run up to them and I say, uh, Hey, uh, is it... I, I, whatever. It's a guy or a girl, I don't care. I say, Hey, mister, do you have a knife on you? Well, he doesn't say anything and just starts walking faster. Okay, um, I reach out and I uh, grab him by the arm and just <laughs> take, take a bite. <laughs> Give me a roll. Right. Did you say take a bite? Take a bite. Take oh a bite. my. <laughs> oh! <Six>. Somehow, <laughs> like through the football football face fighter thing, huh? <laughs> you just go for it. You rip a chunk out of his arm and he starts yes. screaming. Hell yeah. <laughs> you succeed at your obsession. <laughs> oh my. Uh, and we have a bit for control. Reveal. Oh wow, Chris. John. Is that four? <laughs> Your stamina bar refilled. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a screaming man. The alarm is still going. <laughs> So obviously this can't. This isn't helping my uh, my stealthiness, right? Oh, now. your your camouflage index <laughs> is yeah. zero. So what yeah, I'm doing? Down your chin. Um, yeah. like, <laughs> I'm. Uh, I figure I must have been in a scrap with this guy. So what I'm gonna do is put him in a chokehold and just put him to sleep real quick. Are you gonna interrogate him first? No. Okay. You, right. I just need to stop the screaming. Right? Yeah. Yep. So. Roll it. Four. Your your skill does apply. So he goes night and night. <laughs> And you lay him down carefully on the sidewalk. No, I don't just lay him down. I actually drag him to the nearest alley. And I sort of like pluck, <laughs> pluck him up against the wall. And then I sort of lean out the sidewalk. And look left and right. Make sure there's no one watching. Because you, you succeeded at stealthily knocking this man out and hiding him. Yes, there's no one noticed the screaming man and the football player with blood dripping down his chin. <laughs> um... I'm probably going to go take off the helmet now because I figure that makes me more conspicuous. Okay. Um, and I'm going to uh, end the shoulder pads. And yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm going to just start um, sort of like quickly shuffling down the street looking for... Down the street or down the alley? There's a bunch of junk in the alley. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look through the junk and see if there are any uh, interesting clues. Um, there's a flat tire. There's a dumpster. Food trash. There are newspapers. Cardboard boxes. Cardboard box. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to grab one of those. Um, I'm just going to have her carry it under my arm um, until such a time as I need it. Okay. So you exit at the other side of the alley. Uh, there are still fire sirens going on in the distance. This is lasting a lot longer than usual. <laughs> yeah, the alarm is still like not going away. Um, you see... What do you see? You see office buildings. You see... No, you see a racetrack. You see a racetrack. Hmm. A horse race track. That's the, the, the immediately noticeable thing about this area. Gotcha. Um, I'm going to head in that direction because I figure if there's any high-ranking officials, they'll probably be entertaining themselves at the horse race track. <laughs> okay. Um, do you need to buy tickets to get in a horse race? Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you, no, you, you don't. <laughs> right. you just, the point is you're, you're gambling on the horse yeah, race. Yeah, so. okay. So um, do you want to go in unnoticed? Of course. Okay, give me a roll. You're still cool. dripping blood, but yes. You... By now, I probably would have wiped that off you know, like my face. but. And then like use the dirt to make facial camo, huh? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you, you sneak in unnoticed, and uh, it looks like they're getting ready for another race. Uh, what do you do? Um, let's see. I'm going to sneak my way to kind of like the, the big... The like, boxes? The, the boxes, yeah. Yeah, the private boxes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um... Is there anything else you're going to take notice of, or...? Um, when I get to the boxes, assuming I can get there, I'm going to be looking for anyone with an eye patch and or a cigar. <laughs> or a beret? Beret would work too, yeah. Yeah, okay, give me a roll. Four. Um, you don't know any, and you don't notice anyone that obviously is KGB or anything. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> however... 
Horse, horses have dumb names in horse racing. Uh, have you ever looked up a horse r- race name? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, there, there are three horses. There is Ray, there is Rex, <laughs> and... Uh, what was it? Uh, Shagahan? Yeah, that's right. There's, there's Shagahan. Yeah, that's right. So, um, they've got all three. This isn't good. You have to stop them. <laughs> I have to stop them before they launch the nukes. So, I'm going to, um, uh, who's kind of like the most important looking person in the boxes? Um, so you're actually in the boxes? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, the first box you go into, there is, it's like a, he looks like he's a stealth styled cowboy, but he's probably a millionaire that's just posing as a cowboy because he's eccentric. Does he have white hair and kind of like a goatee, like long white hair? Not long white hair, okay. but he does have a, the goatee. Gotcha. Um, His arm is not gone, though. <laughs> right. He doesn't have a gross-looking arm. <laughs> but he does have, like, the brown jacket thing going on. No, he has a vest. He just has a vest. Mm, he's undercover. <laughs> uh, so, Are you going to interrogate him? Of course. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to try to sneak <laughs> in there. And because I'm unarmed at the moment, I'm just going to try to get him in a chokehold. Yep. So. Give me your roll. Four. <laughs> How do I get to Mecha Gear? What? What do you want? What do you want? Give me- when are you activating the mechs? I don't know what you're talking about. I just go and choke him out. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the horse race is starting, though. Okay, so I gotta. Shaco Hot is pulling into the lead I right gotta, out of the gate. I gotta get down there. I gotta get down there. Do you want to get down there fast, or do you want to? Do you want to get down there unnoticed? It's probably going to be unnoticed for now, yeah. Okay, give me a roll. Two. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone gets an exclamation point that, around the, uh, over their head. And the alarm goes off again as there is a bid for control. Reveal. Roll off. John. Um, yes. There's a man in a... That you... You're standing in a box, you have mud on your face, you're holding a cardboard box, there's an unconscious man dressed like a cowboy at your feet, and there is someone standing in the doorway saying, well, what's going on here? Uh, uh, he's been voted off. <laughs> <laughs> voted off? What? But night is coming, and if we don't make a shelter, uh, then we're not going to have anywhere to sleep tonight. Give me a roll to see if he believes the crazy man or something. <laughs> or something. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm calling security and he runs off. <laughs> and there's a picture control. Reveal. Oh, three way tie. <laughs> three. Could I won. What one. do you do? You're standing in the box still. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start heading toward. Um, or are you gonna do the physical challenge? <laughs> the physical challenge? Yeah, there's a window. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, no, I, I'm gonna go up. Um, I'm gonna go up. You're gonna uh, up to the yeah, top. Yeah, basically, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to climb this mountain. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna go to like the highest level of seats and then just try to climb the wall. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and see what's up there um, going up because I'm I'm very confused. But why there are so many people here? <laughs> well, as you climb higher, there are less people because these are the cheap seats. And, oh, excellent. Or not the cheap seats, but these are the unpopular seats mm. because you're so far up and you can't see anything. Okay, well, I'm going to build my shelter there. Uh, there is a column, and there is one sad, lonely man sitting behind the column. Oh, um, do you want to form an alliance? What? Can't... Buddy, can you tell me who's winning? I, I got, like, 300 on Rex to win. And I have a cardboard box. So... If you like, we can share it. <laughs> Roll to share cardboard box. <laughs> no. <laughs> get just get out of the way. Get out of the way. I'm trying to watch I'm trying to watch the race. Alright, if you change your mind, let me know. And I start setting up the cardboard box. And you start setting up the cardboard box, but you did fail. So I, I there is a bit a bit for control. Reveal? Two. Two. Tie. Three. One. He's betting on Rex to win. And now you can see that Shagahad has fallen back to third place. Rex is in second. And some no-name called Raiden is in thir- uh, first. <laughs> what a twist of events. <clears throat> okay. Um, Still have your cover box? Yes. Um, 
I did not intend to move right into the middle of the crowd. Uh, so the same guy that John was just talking to, but of course I don't know that. Yeah. <clears throat> you there. What are they doing? Is it some sort of exhibition of the Mecha Gears? Yeah, sure, whatever, buddy. <laughs> let me let me watch the let me watch the Rick. Come on, man. Time must really be short. I need to get there. And so I'm gonna actually at this point I'm abandoning stealth and I'm just sprinting toward the track. Okay, give me a roll. Six. Yeah, you vault over the fence <laughs> into the middle of the horse race as the oncoming horses come your way. Alright, so Shagohad is pulled back into the lead. It's round the third bend. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to um, try to uh, hijack one of the mecha gears. <laughs> Are you gonna try to hijack the Shagohad? Yes, I'm gonna try to hijack the Shagohad. <laughs> Four. Uh I don't does your skill apply? If you're trying to eat the horse, your skill would apply. Because <laughs> eating things is what you do. <laughs> Especially animals. <laughs> I'm not gonna, uh, it's not stealthy. Mm. You get trampled by the shadow hot. <laughs> There's a bit for control. Reveal. Time. Uh, Stop doing that. <laughs> you <go>. Stop <laughs> doing that. <laughs> I roll low every time. Ah, there we go. John, your head really hurts. You have a weird imprint on your forehead. Um, there's a bucking... Bo- there, there are lots of horses bucking wild and frightened and screaming like only a horse can. Uh, people in the, the stands are sh- just screaming at you. I, uh, I, can, I can go on. I can compete. Don't, don't make me leave the show. One of the horses throws its jockey off and is nearby. You could win this one. You could come in first place. (laughs) (laughs) I take the horse? There's a competition going on and the loser gets voted off. Oh, well in that case, yes, absolutely. So give me a roll to ride horse to first place. (laughs) You get kicked again. (laughs) Oh, medic, 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 call Jeff. I miss my family. Man, this is going to be a weird couch video for you. <laughs> I'm voting off the horse. <laughs> Give me a uh, bit for control. Reveal. All right. You, you've been kicked by a horse. There's a man on the ground. Twice. There are many horses on with jockeys on them. There are screaming people everywhere. What do you do? Um, there's a man on the ground. Yes. I I run up and I, and I go ahead and I bite him. Oh, Where do you bite him? And I, I well, I'm gonna just like uh, on his arm again. I'm gonna like bite his bite a big chunk off, and I'm He's... going to use some coins to make it more likely to succeed. Give me your roll. In fact, I'm gonna use three coins. I've been rolling so poorly. <laughs> oh wow! I told you my rolls today have been. And as you go to bite the man, up. another horse kicks you. <laughs> John is just taking concussions left and right, man. (laughs) This day started so promising. You were going to play football. But it's good for control. Reveal? Mmm, tie. Uh, (laughs) Oh, yeah. Just roll one every time. All the horses have it out for you. (laughs) But you've got to go on. You've got to win this. I'm going to crawl into the center and look for, like, a sewer grate or something. On a race, a horse race, uh-huh. in, in the middle. What? Oh, in the middle, in the green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it would like drain. On okay. green, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say you find one, but you're gonna have to roll to lift up the sewer grate. Okay. No. You just trap your hands in it. Ah! <laughs> and there's a bit for control. <laughs> Reveal. All right, John, your hands are trapped in a sewer grate. Okay. There are screaming horses and people, and there are security guards running onto the field towards you. I'm going to rip my hands out of the sewer grate. Okay. Careful, uh, careful. Yeah, I'm going to rip my I'm going to rip my arms out. Careful to uh, not lose fingers. Not, well, actually, I'm going to be careful that uh, any flesh that gets pulled off like re- re- remains where I can sort of grab it. Oh no! Auto <laughs> cannibalism does not count for your obsession, though. Hey, no, it should. I <laughs> You're it a cannibal, should. not an auto cannibal. There's a difference, <laughs> sir. I have to, I have to actually succeed on this roll to actually pull the flesh off and keep it. So yeah. that should be a roll. No. 
You don't keep the flesh. <laughs> you skin your hands really badly. <laughs> There's food for control. You dislocate like your fingers. In the oh. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Reveal. John. The, the alert's gone off again. <laughs> but the Shagohad, the Rex, and and Ray are all like thrashing and bucking wildly. They've got, they've malfunctioned. But there are now guards getting in your way. Uh, do any of them have like blonde hair? One does. Cool. So like I'm seeing my hands and I'm seeing him. I'm just like liquid solid. <laughs> you think you see, hear him say, but he's just shouting incoherently. So running. I'm gonna run up and do one two punch roundhouse kick. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna fisticuffs. Yeah. You're gonna fisticuffs. Okay. <laughs> Give me a roll to fisticuffs. One. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fist. It's not candy. <laughs> You go to fisticuffs, he goes for taser. You go unconscious. <laughs> Everyone gets one willpower back, and we're going to see where John is when he wakes up. Reveal. Tie. Three ways. Jim got it. One one. All right. Um, you wake up. You're tied to a chair in a dark room. There's a very tough-looking man with a length of wood. In his hands. It's like, the boss doesn't like it when his races get interrupted, you see. Now, who sent you? Who sent you? The boss sent me. He told, he told you to untie me. Yeah, that's a funny story. Now, you start answering my questions, or I start breaking bones. I wish I had this thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah, no, the boss, I'm trying to convince them. I say, yeah, the boss, look, the boss, the boss sent me. I'm here, um, I'm here to test your uh, security. Looks like your security's been uh, pretty lax. But now that I've gotten a, a handle on it, I think it's time for uh, me to go. Give me a roll. <laughs> oh, no. Seriously? Does the bot? I'm so sorry, sir. Um, let, me, let me get you out of there right now. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. <gasps> and he unties you, and uh, you're free. Okay. What do you do next? What else is in this room? Um, well, in, a, in addition to the length of wood, um, it looks like he's carrying a gun and a knife. Okay. I say, um, for purposes of security, I'm going to have to confiscate your gun and your knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certainly, sir. Certainly. Okay. So, um, I, I go ahead and, um, yeah, I just, I go ahead and I shoot him. Roll. Or actually, no, better yet, better yet. Uh, no, I, I, I take it back. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the knife on him. Okay, roll. Because then your skill will Right, 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 right. Ah, there we go. You catch him right in the neck. You go. Okay, so I go ahead and consume some of this flesh. I shouldn't have to roll for that. No, you don't have to roll for that. You okay. succeed at your horrible, horrible obsession. <laughs> for the second time. Well, I mean, if I'm insane, I might as well be completely insane. Give me, there's a bit okay. of control. As John consumes a human can, being. Can, can, wait, can we assume that in the process I also um, took some of like the skin that came off and just kind of laid on my head or something like that? Laid on my face? Why? Because I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, sure. You're wearing facial skin. Okay. You're not wearing the face, you're just wearing his skin. Right, I didn't have time to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. reveal. Ty. Oh, goody. <laughs> John. There are the remains of a human corpse at your feet. You have a gun, a knife, and pieces of skin on your face. <laughs> Survival challenge, finally! I can win this, I know I can. <laughs> yes. The first thing I'm gonna do is to check and see if Barry has called me. You have no signal. Ah! All right, uh, I'm gonna search the corpse. Oh, it's extremely lifelike. Wow, the prop guys did a really good job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, you find bones and viscera. Yeah. And a skull. Okay. Um no 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 clues about what I'm supposed to do to get out of this room? There's a key! Hey! Okay, uh, I will use the key. On the door. Alright, cool. Open door. Challenge phase one unlocked. Yeah. Yeah. Phase two. What is phase two? What is phase two? Well, is there like where am I? Um dark hallway. Uh, no one in sight. Doors to your left, doors to your right. No one does. Clearly, light is required here. Is there a switch? Yeah, there, there's a light switch. All right, I flip it. Uh, bulb's dead. Oh. Um, Wood paneling. Was there a bulb in the other room? No. Uh, where was the light coming from? 
It was a bowl. Okay. <laughs> well, I but it's not the right size. Ah, okay. Um, so like one's like halogen and the you other. Know, okay. Um, there was a length of wood though. There, I'll go take it. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> now you wish you were caveman. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> um, it, how, how do I get out of this hallway? Um, there are doors at both ends. Faster, man! I'm running out of time. The others are gonna beat me. <laughs> They're both locked. Ah! And the key doesn't fit. No! Um, I, I'm just gonna use brute force. I'm gonna just hit it with uh, my surprisingly painful hands. You have a gun, though. Ooh, I'll shoot off the lock. All right, give me a roll. And let's see if it works like it does in the movies. <laughs> it does not work like it does in the movies. <laughs> yeah, it ricochets. Ping, 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 ping. But you don't catch yourself with your own bullet, and there's a bid for control. Wow. None of us have, like, it's just Chris. Yeah. Chris, I think you're gonna you're gonna end this. <laughs> There's a door. It's locked. You have a gun and knife. Gun and knife. There we go. Now you're talking. <laughs> now I'm talking. Also, you feel full. <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> it's not normally how this works. You spin yourself around the sur survival menu, <laughs> then you vomit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, okay. So, dark hallway. Mm -hmm. Used to those. Yep. Uh, apparently, I just got an interrogation, interrogation. Normally, I have to actually get out of that myself. So yeah, yeah very nice. Um, and you hear footsteps. Apparently, it sounds like they're coming down. There might be stairs on the other side. They're mm -hmm. coming towards you. I'm going to um, go through the next open door and sort of hide behind the door. All right. Um, the only other open door is the one you the interrogation room. Okay. So you're gonna hide in the interrogation room. Yeah. Okay. Um, someone walks in and just like. What, what happened here? So I'm going to take the door and bash them with it, and then while they're like sort of knocked around, I'm going to put them in a chokehold. <laughs> Give me a roll. Two. Oh no! <laughs> uh, you try to bash them with the door, but uh, it swings the other way, and he's standing just out of reach, and he whips around and pulls his gun. Who are you? What are you doing here? Where are the mecha gears? He's gonna try to shoot you. So I'm gonna go um, CQC and I'm gonna try to take. You're gonna try to slam him. You're gonna do the CQC. Yeah. All right. Give me a roll. Five. Yeah. You CQC to slam him into unconsciousness. And I take the gun. Um, it pops he, up in a box. Let's see the only one here. Uh, there are the remains of someone. I mean that that one. Already. Yeah, that was the only one. Okay. But he left the door open to the stairway. I'm going up the stairway. Going up the stairway. Um, you enter an office. Looks nice. There's a nice desk. There's someone sitting at the desk. He is turned away from you. There's a, and you can't see beyond the chair. Who are you? Turns around. He has an eye patch. <laughs> so I'm pointing my gun at. Where the mecha gears? He's not gonna say anything. He's just gonna pull a gun on you too. Uh, and I think the last action will be a shootout. Yeah, I think so. If you kill him, you might end the meta, the mecha gears. I'm actually. I'm not going to. I'm trying not to kill. I'm trying to basically just get the gun out of his hand. Okay. Six. Yeah, you you disarm him and have him at gunpoint. <laughs> Where's Rex and Ray and the Shagohod? In the kennels. In the kennels. <laughs> the kennels. Where are they? The 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 two doors over. The, the, out that one. Uh, uh, the, 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 please. I I, I, I pistol whip up whip him and then uh, run to the kennels. Okay. Uh, there are the horses. <laughs> you shoot horses. You horrible man. <laughs> That's probably what I would do if no one tries to stop me. <laughs> no one's stopping you. You shoot the horses for, for the end. For the record, we do not condone animal abuse in any way. <laughs> I like how you, you made sure to, to mention that. Meanwhile, you've consumed human flesh. <laughs> yeah, so, we, also don't, <laughs> we also don't condone cannibalism or auto cannibalism. Hey, go back until you try it. <laughs> John consumed human flesh. Okay. Yes. Um, so. Sword Snake, you, uh, you stopped the, the Mecha Gears. Congratulations, you saved the world. <laughs> That's three points for you. Yeah. Doc, um, I'm afraid, uh, big goose egg for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was attempting to uh, convince people that I you should shouldn't be, be voted off the island, but you yeah. failed. I never, got, I never even got as far as convincing him we were on an island <laughs> and needing to be voting. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're doing any of the challenges, really? Anything at all. Yeah. Successfully, you know. So that's a big fat zero for you. Um, and Jim. Yes, consume two flesh. I win, right? Oh, yeah, you win again. Yes. <laughs> Hard, the horrible John wins. <laughs>
This has been Roll With It Unplugged, a production of BackwardCompatible.com. The GM for this episode is Brian McKittrick, running Everyone is John by Michael B. Sullivan. The players are Adam Bracken, Chris Kruger, and Jim Weaver. Your producer is Chris Kruger. The Backward Compatible crew, thank you for listening.